Hi there, my name is Carla Jo and this is my weight loss journey channel. Thank you for joining me. I've lost 100 pounds by changing my habits like drinking more water, eating more protein. I've had my ups and downs, but I've managed to maintain my weight loss for eight years. I'm not perfect and I still have a ways to go. But if you're on a similar journey, subscribe to my channel and let's cheer each other on. Thank you. Good morning, Carla Jo here. I'm staying hydrated this morning. Flu season is just around the corner and we really do want to stay hydrated as much as possible. I drink, I try to drink uh, 64 ounces of water. Sometimes I will put some uh, flavor enhancer. The, today I have cherry and it's so good. We also want to eat lots of healthy foods, especially ones that boost your immunity. Like berries and citrus fruits. And it's important to stay physically active and rested and warm and um, get enough sleep. Sleep is very important. So those are just my little reminders today. And if you do catch a cold, like this is the grandmother in me, but drink lots of hot tea and take steamy hot well steamy showers and um, eat lots of hot chicken noodle soup i have lots of things on my list today i need to take down my fall decorations and wrap some presents and we have a few christmas parties to get ready for and uh, we have our granddaughter's cheer competition which i'm really excited for we have richard's work party and um so there's really a lot going on, a lot I need to do today, but I want to um, take you on a walk, get my walk in this morning, and I want to talk to you about some some weight loss things. I'm going to eat some breakfast. This is a turkey sausage right here. I'll show you the foods that um, I eat today. I'll put that at the end of the video, and I'm going to take my vitamins. I have a month supply of my vitamins made up and this really helps me stay on track so I'm gonna get these vitamins in and then I'll go out and walk with you man is it cold out here I mean I cannot believe that it is already December where did November go I mean we've already had Thanksgiving and all of that and it is freezing cold so anyways, with the holidays here with us, and we're going to be around more people, more family gatherings, more parties with friends, and all kinds of different people, I thought it would be a good time to talk about dealing with um, other people's opinions. I mean, this is a big thing in weight loss. I know it's something I had to deal with when I lost the 100 pounds, and one thing, one conclusion is you're never going to um, please everybody. I mean, that you should just already know that from the get-go. So you might as well do things that make yourself happy and um, stick with thoughts about your own health and your goal and your own choices. And take it from a people pleaser like me. I was a people pleaser for very, very many years. And um, one thing, there was a quote, I don't remember who said this, but it was, it went something like, you could be the ripest, juiciest peach in the bunch, but there's always gonna be someone that doesn't like peaches. And that, that kind of sums it up about how you can never please everybody. I mean, most of the time we are our own worst critics and we put too much worth into what other people think of us. We don't really need to be dependent on the approval of other people of what they think of us or we don't really need their validation for anything that we do. That's why I say it's super important to think about what makes you happy instead of trying to please other people. I mean, being happy and being in that good, happy vibration, that's where all the good stuff is, right? That's how you attract more good things is um, by being happy and feeling good about yourself. And this 
is super important in weight loss. I mean, you know, things like, um, say for instance, the, the food pushers, like you, somebody may be trying to be like, eat this or try this, or why are you only eating that salad or something like that? And I mean, are you really going to let your, um, health or your hard work that you've put in be derailed by somebody else's opinion or some trying to please somebody else it's a total different story if you want it if it's something you want by all means you know have it if you want to try that cookie or whatever it is but don't take it or don't eat it just because someone else um, wants you to and this is something to um, it's really good to prepare yourself this for this type of situation during the holidays um, because you can easily just add like tons of calories and and sugar and all kinds of things just just by doing this one thing so one thing that really helps is to mentally prepare yourself for these situations ahead of time you don't have to be um, mean about it and you can say no you don't really owe anybody an explanation of why you don't want to eat something but I try to be polite about it and um, you know some people like even me I um, associate food with um, it's one way that I show love I mean I want to make sure everybody has enough to eat and that they're okay but I don't try to push it on them if they if they say no I'm not gonna um, like force it on them or anything like that so when people are trying to get me to eat something or try something that they make I um, do realize that most of the time most people are coming from a place of kindness and love and they just you know um, prepared it and put love into it and they just actually are doing it out of kindness so I try to be polite and I will um, you know compliment the the cook and tell them it looks good and smells good and I appreciate their uh, kindness or their thoughtfulness and um, things like that by all means you don't want to um, say something negative about the food just please don't be that person there's no need for that just appreciate their generosity and their thoughtfulness and you can be honest and just tell them you know about your um goals and your health goals and things like that that can go a long ways with people but it is important like if you make something and you know you're doing it out of love but just remember that um, not everybody is on the same page as you and try not to use food as a reward or to satisfy um, your emotions or other people's emotions some people may not understand or agree with your dietary choices some people have really strong beliefs around food so just say no and you don't really have to justify why Sometimes I'd like to just change the subject. I'll be like, how's your dog? Or what, what are your plans this weekend? Just keep it positive. And remember, just don't make any negative comments about the food. Remember, you can say no without feeling guilty. There's no reason you should feel guilty about saying no. And you can also prepare yourself ahead of time. If you're not good at answering things on the spot, um, in one of the classes I took in the nutrition classes when I was um, in my weight loss classes, they told us to write down and have some answers ready for when people were trying to um, push food on you or something. So that may help to be prepared, like, um, you know, have a dialogue already uh, written down and made ahead of time. 
so that when it does happen, if you're not good on the fly, like sometimes you're like, some, you'll be in a situation and you're like, uh oh, what do I say? That happens to me a lot here. You guys can see that on YouTube. I just sometimes like, um, I say um a lot, so I don't mean to do that, but it happens. And remember in um, your weight loss journey, it, it's normal to have self-doubt and fear about being judged if you're um, try embarking on a new journey of weight loss. And it's okay because you're not alone. And um, fear of being judged is quite common. And most people are too focused on their own lives to spend it scrutinizing on yours. Yes, they do judge. That is just that's human nature. People are just going to judge, but you really don't put too much worth into what they're saying. And remember, they're not perfect either. And I mean, striving for um, perfection or unattainable perfection is not good for you anyways. I mean, just give yourself permission to make mistakes and... Uh, learn learn from them. Weight loss is a personal choice and everyone's journey is different. To me, sharing here on um, YouTube with you guys really helps me. It's like a place of encouragement and I find um, that it helps me like when I do these little walks with you and I celebrate my progress and my little small wins, uh, it just really helps me and uh, hopefully it helps you and helps others that might be um, struggling with the same thing or going through the same thing. I hope um, the camera is not picking up all this wind. It's quite cold and windy here. But anyways, I always say to um, seek professional guidance for um, anything to do with weight loss or anything like that because it, it can have an emotional impact on your well-being. And professionals can help provide support and guidance and um, they can help you with the issues and how to navigate through things like fear of judgment and um, overcoming self-doubt and things like that. I'm not a professional. I'm just talking about my own experiences and things that, you know, I've been through and that I've learned along the way. So... Okay, I didn't really mean to go off on this tangent, but um, just remember your self-worth is not determined by a number on the scale and and are the approval of others. Well, I think that is going to be about it for now on this walk because I am freezing. How about you, Luna? Are you cold? Yes, it's very cold out here so I'm gonna go in and um, do some things on my list put away my fall decorations and wrap some presents and get a little bit of ahead on that and I'll share with you guys what I ate today and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please like and subscribe and leave me a comment I'd like to hear from you thank you so right now I'm just taking down all my fall decorations. I feel like I am so late to the game doing this. Uh, most of my friends already have their Christmas up, but you know, it's been busy. So I'm giving myself some grace and I'm just um, putting all this away. Thank you.